thank you very much uh, welcome back uh, to powerhouse channel i want to do something today and uh, it's very important it's very 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 important why do people especially those who are not married why do they really have sex when they are not they've not planned for that uh, this series is a series on the truth about sex before marriage now because of the the things that those things that follow you know um, sex before marriage I'm so interested to talk about it so that those who are coming will not be victims of what happens when sex you know takes place before marriage how do you avoid it in my last you know uh, um, my last um, episode uh, we talked about uh, some of the pressures that sex before marriage brings to your life. Uh, but today, I'm going to be talking about how to avoid sex before marriage. Uh, now, if you realize there are several young people who never planned to actually indulge in sex before marriage. And that's the most times you hear about even people who are born again, people who are, who are, who are, who are tongue-talking and born again, filled with the Spirit of God. You see them actually going out and, um, and then against their, their wish they have sex. We're going to be looking at the things that actually led to that and how you can avoid it. I'm going to talk about one of it, one major one, one major one. And most times you can, as a girl, as a girl, you can go to um, your, your friend's house, your male friend's house, and then you, you feel free there, okay? Um, but um, these days it's no longer like that. You can't just feel free when you go to your male friend's house. You can't feel free there. Even if they are your cousins. Even if they are your cousins. Alright? You have to be, you have to, you have to, you have to guard yourself. You have to guard yourself. Now, um, well, I, I remember uh, my my wife sharing an incident, you know, with me, um, they, they sent her somewhere, and it's, it's, it's a relative, someone that's close to them. And then she got there to deliver the message, and uh, while she was there, um, she met this young man alone at home. And then, um, before you know it, um, the young man, she delivered the message, and then the young man who is related somehow, or is a family friend somehow, you know, insisted that she was going to sleep with her yes and she locked the door and then um, while they were struggling and they were struggling um then uh, someone another relative came in and insisted that was not going to happen and that was how that incident was uh, uh, called off that time she was lucky she was lucky but not many people are that lucky so what do you do the truth is is that so many of this emotional, you know, pull, sexual pull that comes upon, you know, men, most times they are not even planned. And then, especially for, for men that are, for people who are not guarded, who have exposed themselves to um, illicit, you know, pictures, illicit movies, most times you gather this information unknowingly or unconsciously into your heart and then at the at the appointed time you realize that some of these you know blue films uh, other things that you've been watching they just you know show up in your heart and they build up you know you know present energy that will make you want to have sex and if you don't have sex it looks like the ground is going to open and you're going to enter and it's, it's covered the only way for the girls to be free and to be safe is that when you want to visit a male friend, go with another friend, not another male, uh, female friend. Most times another female friend uh, or you go with um, uh, someone, someone that you know can be a backup for you. Yes. Don't, they may call you old school, they may call you, you're not um, uh, informed. The truth is that you are informed. In short, it's because you are informed, that's why you're coming with a third party in that visitation. You don't know the power of the silent hood 
of an environment. When you put a young man and a young woman you know, together in a silent environment, you'll be shocked what will happen. You'll be shocked. So most times, get a third party. As you go visiting, get a third party. Get a third party. I, I remember several years ago, my other sister would visit you know, with a friend, a male friend, as at that time. I didn't know all of that. Uh, you know, as at that time, it is it's this time that I, I, I realized exactly what she was doing that time. We would go to uh, to the me friend, he, she would carry me along and we would go. And I realized that each time I was in her company, nothing silly happens. Nothing silly happens. I didn't know she was using me as a, as a checkmate, you know, to her. But that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was powerful. That was powerful. That's common sense. Although common sense is not really common. But I encourage you. Most times people innocently, especially the girls, they innocently go, you know, visiting, not suspecting anything. And then they come back, you know, you know, uh, 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 bruised. Bruised. In the scripture it happened. It happened in the scripture, in the word of God. David's son was sick and then uh, he requested the sister to come, the stepsister to come, and she came. And then uh, what happened next was that she was raped. These are people from the same father. So what, what makes you think that your cousin cannot rape you? Your cousin can rape you. I'm not even talking about people who are just yeah, maybe friends, as well. You go to the school and you meet people, you meet uh, friends in the school, uh, maybe they are schoolmates uh, in the university or in the primary school, or, I mean in the secondary school or any other high institution, and then you meet people and then you just open up your heart to them and feel free with them. No. If you are in the hostel, don't go to the maze hostel. Don't stay there alone with your classmates because you wouldn't know when the evil of sexual terror will come upon such a person. Even if they are believers, don't often create scenes where you are alone with a male. That is the watchword. That is the watchword. The pain of having to be abused and then perhaps maybe leads to pregnancy and then you have a child and you're not going to single parenthood it's so so bad that pain hurts and hurts a lot and so our uh, girls stay away stay away i am more on the girl's side because they are often the victims of this wickedness that is done okay so you stay away it's part of the education it's part of the information that i, I promise that we'll bring in here at powerhouse so go with somebody go with somebody but most times i want you to be sensitive you know, most times you can go with um, uh, uh, other friends and you do not know that those friends were actually arranged by the male uh, counter counterparts. Yes. At times, so somebody, a lady can become your friend on an arrangement. You feel free with the girl, not knowing that the girl follows you to the guy's house, but not knowing it's, it's planned. And before you know it, before you know it, you are raped. On, on, a, on, 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 on an intention, she will just, you know, perhaps do like she was going out or she's going out and then she goes, she leaves the room and then she wouldn't come back until the evil happens. It's planned. So we don't rely on friends, girls that are already sexually exposed. Because as they are especially exposed and you are not exposed, they are not proud of themselves. They are proud of you. And they will do everything in their capacity to have you exposed sexually. And so you must stay away. You must stay away with, from those friends. Don't call. You know, not everybody is your true friend. Not everybody. So, what's the watch line? Don't visit a male friend alone. And please, if you're going with girls, don't go with girls that are already sexually exposed, who are not in control of their emotions. Because they would sure watch you sexually abused. All right. Now, the second thing is that don't go to clubs. Don't go to night meetings and all of that. Don't go alone. In short, even in church, don't go to do night vigil with a brother. 
the two of you alone, don't go. Don't go. No matter the kind of problem you have, don't go with your pastor alone as a lady for night vigil. Avoid the temptation. You wouldn't know what will come out of that. Don't go. Don't go. Multitude of tongues does not stop the emotional pull if someone is not guided. So, when instance see so people going to meetings, going to places alone, just avoid it. If you are sending an errand, go with somebody. And once the evening comes, don't go out. Don't go out. Are you saying I'm sounding primitive? I am not. I'm talking from experience. And I know what I'm talking about. A lot of young girls on uh, perhaps they, they just throw out and then they, 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 they get abused. Don't go alone. Go with trusted friends. If you do that, you're going to actually cover or you're going to stop, you know, uh, being exposed sexually before time. You're going to actually avoid rape also and anything that will tarnish your image and destroy your destiny. Sex before marriage kills. Avoid it. Until I come your way, live strong, live happily, and leave people better than you met them.